my lovely angels this is your girl sam back with another episode of the sims squad hi so why am i dressed up like this <laughs> so your girl is a huge potter head so i love everything harry potter i have seen the movies like a million times i've uh, read the books i've uh, visited the studio in london and um i collect a few things and when i went to the Warner Brothers making of uh, Harry Potter studio. I got myself my official robe of my official house. I have the emblem and then I have my name on it as well. Look. <laughs> and guess what? I have the Elder Wonders. <laughs> Swish and flick. So I got myself sorted um, ages ago uh, from um, thewizardingworld.com, which is the official website for Harry Potter. And you can get yourself sorted in a house. Uh, they have a huge quiz. You get your wand uh, given to you. I mean, not given to you, but you uh, get assigned a wand. You get assigned a Patronus. My Patronus is a hummingbird, which I'm not really surprised at because I can understand the kind of questions they ask you and what kind of Patronus they assign to you. Uh, also, my house. Like I was 99.9% .9 sure that I was going to be put into Slytherin because um, the zodiac signs are also kind of like associated with uh, houses. But at the same time, I was like, when I was put into Gryffindor, I was like, yeah, okay, kind of like makes sense, but whatever, you know, like I was expecting to be in Slytherin, but then I got put into Gryffindor. The biggest surprise was Ali being put into Gryffindor. Now, Ali is a proper Slytherin. <laughs> he is a Scorpio and you can imagine all the Scorpio traits and he got sorted into Gryffindor as well. So I was like, all right, uh, this is a surprise, but it's a very comprehensive uh, quiz. And if you are a Potterhead or if you're not a Potterhead, but you want to get your house sorted, go to visitingworld.com. I'll put the link down. I'm not getting paid. This is not sponsored. I'm just a dork, a nerd, you know, who loves Harry Potter like crazy. So I thought what better than assign Arabian perfumes into Hogwarts houses. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to start with the Hufflepuff house. Now, the Hufflepuff house was founded by Helga Hufflepuff. Their uh, emblem or their uh, badge is a badger. <laughs> the house colors are yellow and black and their element is earth. And the famous uh, Hufflepuff uh, characters are Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and of course our Cedric Heroic Diggory. <laughs> So let me tell you like some details about the char characteristics of uh, Hufflepuff uh, assigned students or people. So it says, Hufflepuff is where you find the most trustworthy and hardworking students. In fact, all, out of all the houses, has, Hufflepuff has produced the least amount of dark witches and wizards. There is an idea that Hufflepuffs are the least clever of all Hogwarts students, but that is not true. Hufflepuffs are just most humble of the houses and don't feel the need to shout out about their achievements in the same way as others do. So if you're sorted into this house, you would be a person who has strong moral compass, always works hard, is the most loyal friend, and they know that no, uh, taking part is the thing that counts the most, not their personal victory, and they always have the best snacks. And the moment I heard that last line, I was like, Earth element, I was like, yeah, Taurus, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So yeah, the earth element is Taurus and of course the zodiac signs associated with them are Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Now, for the perfumes that I've chosen from them is based on these characteristics, the zodiac signs, the uh, not the colors really, but mostly the characteristics. So I'm not going to go into details about these perfumes, but um, I'm just going to give you an overview. So the first one which came to my mind was Badial Oud Sublime. <laughs> This is a gorgeous, juicy, uplifting, um, fruity fragrance by Latafa from their Badial Oud collection. And it is one of my go-to perfumes right now because it just makes me feel so good. It's literally a cocktail in a bottle, a dark cocktail with rum or something, you know, like gorgeous scent for anybody who wants to smell fun, who wants to smell uh, approachable, who wants to smell uh, delicious basically so everything that I associated with um, Hufflepuff were mostly gourmand fragrances and 
I think you know why I would go for that because they are the most approachable, they are the friendliest, they are um, uh, amazing friends and they're just like so approachable and which is why like I this was the first one I thought of. I was like immediately Badi Al Oud. The next one of course I associated with them was the Nebras Gold which is also a gourmand. This is literally, you know the, um, I call it like, you know the premix uh, uh, baking uh, thingy you get from Betty Crocker or Pillsbury or something. Tillsbury, Pillsbury, what is that? Uh, one of those boxes. And then crush some uh, lotus biscuits and that's how this thing smells. It's very chocolate forward. It has caramel, caramel, tonka bean. It's a very delicious perfume but at the back of it, it there is like a hint of some herb or it has some um i'm not sure what it is but there's a little zing at the back which not everybody notices for some weird reason but for me this is like that that little thingy at the back like it's like adding salt to caramel you know it just gives that uh, pop and this one has that and i thought it was so apt that this was uh, this would be associated with uh, hufflepuff and also the color is yellow and black and that kind of was like, mm, you know. <laughs> so yeah, the second one is your Nebras Gold. So the next one is from the Kasamat range from Rasasi Perfumes and this is the Kasamat Ibar. Ibar is again very similar. Oh my gosh, this is straight up biscuits. Like for me, this is like how biscuits smell like, especially, you know, you those get those glucose biscuits. Oh my god, first of all, the scent is so good. Like, look at how much we have used up. Like, when this was sitting on the table, Ali used up, like, all the perfumes. And, like, this was, like, the one he was reaching for the most. And Rasana. So, I had to hide them. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, did you notice my change of background? <laughs> yeah, I finally got myself a shelf because uh, my van vanity could not accommodate perfumes anymore. And Ali was kind of getting with the fact that like there was no space on the counter and like we could not like really keep our things and everything so I thought let me just get a shelf it is still work in progress so it's not the best right now I'll still move things around and I'll try and give you a unique perspective every time so you'll have like different perfumes everywhere so yeah as I was saying Ebar for me is one of the most delicious precious beautiful fragrances ever created by Rasasi and if you know Rasasi with this line they have created some really good perfumes and this was probably like favorite the most favorite along with Rasana these two are like right up there and I don't know if this is duping anything or not but for me this is like just a yummy delicious uh, a mix of uh, glucose biscuits you know and when you spray this on the on yourself you start smelling yummy you start smelling like you want to eat like the person you know <laughs> Okay, that sounded wrong. Not in a cannibalistic way, not in a sexual way. <laughs> I'm saying you just smell like... The next one I thought it would be apt to give uh, Kea Ali's uh, Utopia Vanilla Coco 31. Sorry, I need to read these names because like I would have called it Coco Vanilla and that's a completely different perfume but this is the Utopia. And this again for me is a very Hufflepuff uh, perfume. It's like a vacation. It's... You know, you pack your best clothes for vacation where you would feel comfortable. You would at the same time like a destination, which is like a tropical destination where you want to be with your better half or with your boyfriend or somebody who's your love interest. This is going to smell you, uh, make you smell you. This is going to smell elevated. At the same time, it's like uh, taking you dancing on a vacation in the evening at a tiki bar or something, you know. Like it has that coconutty thing but without the sunscreen smell and for me this is one of like Kiali's best creations and yes uh, in um, the Black Friday sale I'll definitely be getting a full size of this one. This is probably one of my best favorite Kiali perfumes out there. Again this perfume is like a very approachable perfume. It's not a snob. It's um, definitely a Hufflepuff for me. The next perfume for Hufflepuff is a perfume that always puts me in a good mood. It's quirky, it has this weirdness about it, but it has all the qualities that I would think a Hufflepuff house member would have. And it is the Rum's Gold. <laughs> so this is the perfume everybody knows. <sighs> so this perfume, if it's not macerated, you will find it very yuck. Like you will be like, oh my God, so overwhelming. The pineapple is like really strong. The fruity, juicy notes. 
are like really strong and forward but this like if you think Badiyal Oud is like uh, uh, juicy and fruit forward, this guy is a completely different story. But it has this beautiful quality to it. Like the first time you spray it, you're going to be like, what even is this perfume? But now, like for me, this is like a gorgeous scent. This is supposed to be duping Alexandria 2 by Zerjov. And I would love to get my hands on that perfume, but I'm trying to get a smaller version so that I can uh, better compare it. Because as far as I remember, yes, it was something like that, but... I remember it was a weird perfume, you know, but it's loved and adored by everybody, just like Rum's Gold. Now, Rum's Gold is very po polarizing. So if you do not like very fresh, fruity, juicy perfumes, you're not going to like this, right? But for me, this was like a total hapapa. So the next house is your Ravenclaw. Now, Ravenclaw, of course, everybody knows them as the nerds or the uh, bookworms who are extremely intelligent. They're known for... Uh, being a little bit arrogant about it as well because they know that they are extremely like intelligent and smart. Uh, I, I was thinking that Hermione would have probably been in Ravenclaw, but like of course because of her bravery and her attachment to her friends and everything, she turned out to be a Gryffindor. But like Hermione would have been like a perfect example for uh, how Ravenclaws are. But some members of these houses, they are intelligent not just in a book way, they are also intelligent in a different uh, plane. Like Luna Lovegood is a famous Ravenclaw and we all know how Luna is. Like she is considered to be a little loony just because she is intelligent but in a different way. She relates to nature, to elements, to everything like really well. And I find that like really intriguing about them. So Ravenclaw was founded by Rowena Ravenclaw and their symbol, their badge or everything, it's the eagle. Their house colors are blue and bronze and their element is air. Hence, of course, the zodiac signs associated with air. It's your Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. So Aquarius is like a, I would assume Luna Lovegood is an Aquarius. Like I would think she's like Aquarius borderlining a Pisces, you know, like, okay, let me not get into my two cents about zodiac signs. But yeah, that's like Ravenclaw House details for you. So this is what they say on um, Visiting World about Ravenclaw. If you're looking for the brainiest students, you would find them in Ravenclaw. The Sorting Hat would only put you in this house if you demonstrated excellent wisdom, wit and a skill for learning. Ravenclaws are often known for being quite eccentric and most of the great wizarding inventors and innovators have come from this house. Towards the end, I'll tell you why I got into Harry Potter so much and how it affected my life. It's a little insane and some of y'all might be like, how lame, you know, <laughs> but I'm just going to be honest about it. So the first perfume I thought was a total bookworm kind of perfume, a total like searching for knowledge, ancient wisdom, and I could only think of your Eternal Oud uh, by Latafa from their Pride collection. And let me stop spraying everything on my nice cloak. This to me screams Ravenclaw. It smells very bookish. Like the moment I smell this, I am kind of transported into an old library uh, where you can smell the, the papyrus, you know, the old paper. Like you also are doing some research in a foreign land like uh, Marrakesh or <laughs> like Turkey or something where you're in your, you know, bazaar where you're smelling all the spices, herbs, the essential oils. You know, like some kind of experiments, like the old apparatus, like this whole like thing comes to mind. So this one, like instantly, this is like a spicy oud perfume. The oud is like there, but it is not in a banyadi way. It's a nice oud. But mostly for me, this is like woody, spicy, and I can't describe this perfume. And the older it gets, the better it is. Like, I feel like Rowena Ravenclaw probably smell like this, you know. Let me like move like quicker because I think I'm going to just make this video like more than 30 minutes, which is like, for me, it's like a bit too much, you know. The next one I thought of was the CDN uh, Club de Nuit Untold because this one is a perfume which is a dupe of um, a clone of uh, your Baccarat Rouge 540, which was one of the most innovative perfumes ever created. The likes of it, like the first time we smelt it, we all, you know how you felt. You were just in awe. You were like, what is this perfume, you know? At this, like, so I feel like it was a very clever perfume. It was very unique. It, is, it was very eccentric, 
which was it was quite polarizing now although i am kind of tired of this dna but i still like gravitate towards it like there's something about it it's like really good for mixing and layering and untold is like just one of those perfumes plus the bottle of for it is like oh look at the gorgeous bottle i wish i could put this perfume in gryffindor but this is such a not a gryffindor perfume you know uh but the bottle might be you know but yeah because of the intelligence of this perfume the creation itself was like uh like imagine like so many people have duped this perfume but the original like i wish like i had Bar uh, baccarat rouge but that again is not like a middle eastern but from the middle eastern ones like my take would be the club de nuit untold or also the barik by uh, ras asis kasamat uh, uh, range the next one in ravenclaw of course i had to put my amir al oud because this again gives you that ancient wisdom kind of uh, smell it's very not similar to uh, eternal oud but it gives you the same vibe the same feeling oh my gosh this perfume is like sweet incensey again you feel like a ancient wisdom like you feel like something really ancient associated with it like you feel like it's a lot of books research and there's something really deep and dark about it like when i smell this like i feel like a person who's intelligent and who has like a lot of experience a lot of know how you know they would wear this perfume guys i'm honestly just associating it associating it with the characteristic i feel like of a person in ravenclaw would be like i could be wrong this is my take so take it with a grain of salt this is just my opinion you can tell me in the comments what house you're from and what perfumes do, would you associate from arabian perfumes for with each houses of hogwarts the next one i thought because they're intelligent they have this uh, uh eccentric thing about them but at the same time they're very attractive because of their intelligence i thought modest dear by afnan would be a good take on an evening perfume for them for the women especially because this is like kind of like your lanui chwesa but it has like a cherry note on top which is kind of like a artificial cherry but the artificial cherry in this has been done so well and for me this is like one of my favorite cherry perfumes out there and like it dries down to a very uh, soothing vanilla and edible vanilla it has that little berry cherry uh with like a little bit of dark chocolate like the shavings not the sweet chocolate but then it has the vanilla and your musk base which is like the one of the most beautiful creations ever i'm in love with this perfume like i like it so much like i should be using this much more <laughs> but by the way this i had purchased it like a long time ago and then i had got it again and uh I I feel this is available easily on the market so it's not like it's getting discontinued or something so I'm just going to keep this one finish it and then like when it's probably like like this much left I'll just purchase a new one and last but not the least I got one from Kiali as well for uh, Ravenclaw and that's your Vanilla 28 now again why Vanilla 28 it's a very basic perfume you can use this to mix with layer it with other perfumes so I feel a lot of these perfumes for ravenclaw you can like use it for lay layering like your untold your vanilla 28 and again this for me is like a simple perfume and it could only be create created by a ravenclaw who created a very basic perfume but it is like one of the most popular the most attractive perfumes in the world right now like vanilla 28 is so 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 popular if you haven't smelled it yes it is basic but the whole point of it being that uh attractive still the longevity on this layering power adding depth to like any other perfume that could only be a raven claw creation and i feel vanilla 28 that's hence belongs to raven claw so the next house is one of the most interesting houses in my opinion it is a slytherin house because of the number of wizards that went dark um uh from this house were the most uh plus the characters associated they're very complex they're very uh difficult to understand and analyze and that's why it gives me that little intrigue about them and um the house slytherin is like very unpopular because people just think everybody in that house is bad but that's not true it was founded by salazar slytherin their symbol is the snake 
uh, the color uh, green and silver okay that's another reason because the aesthetic of the Slytherin house is amazing I think they have the best aesthetic of all like that green and silver like their uniform everything their common room like I just it's... the element is water hence the zodiac signs are Cancer which is me Scorpio and Pisces the famous Slytherins we all know is uh, Tom Riddle who was ultimately Lord Voldemort uh, Se uh, Severus Snape and the whole Malfoy family. These are like the famous uh, Slytherins. Now the Slytherin house has an unfortunate reputation while it's true that a lot of dark witches and wizards were sorted into Slytherin, not all who belong to this house are bad. In fact, there are a lot of excellent qualities the sorting hat looks for in potential Slytherins and Merlin himself was in this house and was misunderstood. If the sorting house placed you in this house, then you're most likely ambitious, shrewd, and possibly destined for greatness. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Of course, the first one that came to my mind for a Slytherin was Buddy Aloud Amethyst. <laughs> this perfume screams Slytherin. It has that darkness. It has the allure. It has like, like I think the, the, Celebrity I'd given this to was Eva Green and Eva Green like the first thing that you think of if you think of a color Dark green and black comes to mind which is like a very Slytherin thing and like this bottle like for me the dark purple as well is a very royal uh, Noble color which is like I know they're not noble, but like still um, This bottle and the perfume completely reminded me of the Slytherin house the juice is dark it is very got, if I can call it that, like it's dark roses, like think like dark red, the maroon roses and like a lot of oud and hints of uh, sweetness in the background, which is like kind of hidden. <laughs> you need to get to the base to find out. <laughs> For me, this is like the most magnificent rose perfume out there. Like if you uh, do not like oud, maybe it's not for you, but like as an evening perfume, the darkness, the mystery about it, the really uh, like Victorian age vampire kind of uh, feeling you get from this perfume. This for me is a proper Slytherin. Of course, I had to add an Oud perfume and I would like to add this one because I've not been adding, I've not been reviewing this much. I've not been adding it to many lists, but this is the Noble Amir. This is like a show off perfume without being a show off. Like I think I, I wanted to mention both of these together because they smell like uh, like your Rosendo Matteo number no. five perfume, but like anybody who does not like this will not like this. If you don't, li if you like this, you will definitely like this. It's like they go in the same, they travel in the same boat, just like in the front and back, you know. Uh, this one is a little darker. It's a little bit more heavy on the leather, while this one is more heavy on the oud. So yeah, both of these they are extremely dark perfumes. They are like noir and look at their packaging that's like literally black and gold it screams luxury opulence like pride your like all, all the outrageous qualities they have it yet they flaunt it like it's a good thing <laughs> and we love it we love that darkness about it we like love the fact that they are a little obnoxious but they are powerful they feel their presence cannot be ignored that is like these two perfumes but these perfumes absolutely Slytherin. Now I thought let me give uh, Slytherin House like a fun perfume as well which I am in love with. By the way Slytherin House perfumes they are very much me but I know they're very very polarizing not everybody's gonna like it and this one is Nasheed by Latafa. Now I know most of the people like if you like do not like this perfume you can't be friends with me. <laughs> This is one of the best dupes out there for Ani. I don't think Ani has many dupes. Again, this is like a weird perfume, like proper weird. It has like a lot of herbs, essential oils, but then it has some spices and then ultimately it settles, settles down to a beautiful spicy vanilla, which is like a very rare vanilla in my opinion. Like I haven't smelled anything like this. And guys, like initially I was telling you that this is like, it's not staying for very long, but the longer it's sitting on my shelf and the fact that the perfume bottle is like absolutely opaque. I can't see through it at all. This is getting macerated like really fast and I am loving it more and more and more every single day. The reason why this fits the bill for <laughs> Slytherin House is because it has a dark persona. It still has like, 
you know, like Slytherin houses, like they have like this natu natural affinity to potion making. And this smells very much like a, like a potion, you know, uh, it smells like, I don't know, like liquid something, you know, from the Harry Potter wizarding world. And I absolutely think this is a stunning perfume. Again, some people might not like it, but I really don't know how, like they will not like it. But I can see why this would be polarizing. It has this little medicinal quality to it, but not the medicinal quality like the Baccarat Rouge. This is like a herbal, your apothecary, I got that name right finally, uh, apothecary kind of smell, but at the same time, it smells luxurious, uh, rich and opulent. Slytherin house worthy. <laughs> Last but not the least, it would not be a complete video for Slytherin if I didn't include a Shagaf Oud. <laughs> I feel the entire Shagaf range, it's like probably like Shagaf Oud range, not the Shagaf. The Shagaf Oud range, I feel it's all leading very much towards your Slytherin house. This is the Shagaf Oud Aswad. Oh my god, I want to die and go to heaven. Every time I smell this perfume, I'm like, take me, <laughs> you know, I'm ready. <laughs> It's like I've achieved everything in life now. You know, when I smell this perfume, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. This is a oud heavy. Like, Shagaf oud is literally all these perfumes are with all the heavy notes that you can think of crammed into one and that's your Shagaf oud. This is a very masculine leading fragrance, but I feel like I wear it like all the time, but only for occasions or evening wear. Like if I'm going for an event, a PR event or something, and I want to stand out, like I will wear this perfume and people ask me like, what are you wearing, you know? This is like a daring perfume. It like, it dares you. Like you wear this and you're like, like you're like, you know, you, you, you smell cold. You smell unapproachable. Yeah, that's the right word. Like you feel like snobbish. Like it'll come off to people as a very snobbish perfume. It gives you that illusion of uh, um, grandeur, like that you are like somebody like, wise and like you know i would think merlin would smell like this you know like yeah literally like think of merlin like old merlin like he would smell like this and like i was surprised actually to read that merlin was like from was sorted into like slytherin house i would have imagined he would be in ravenclaw but it kind of makes sense because he's also like a little going beyond the boundaries you know so yeah your shagaf ud aswat is also slytherin house worthy we are on the last house now and it's my house which is the Gryffindor house. <laughs> it was founded by Godric Gryffindor and the symbol is the lion. Lion literally symbolizes courage, friendship, loyalty. Uh, the colors for it are scarlet and gold which are the most like look at me colors you know <laughs> scarlet and gold. The element is fire hence the zodiac signs Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Leo literally is the lion, right? <laughs> now, of course, the famous Harry Potter uh, characters are the Golden Trio, which is your Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. But otherwise, um, Minerva, McGonagall and Professor uh, Dumbledore are all uh, from the Gryffindor house. Gryffind Gryffindor house is where you will find the pluckiest and the most daring students. If the sorting house is placed you here, you would have demonstrated qualities like courage, bravery, and determination. If you're lucky enough to end up in Gryffindor, we imagine you're the type of person who likes to stand up for the little guy, challenges authority, and has a tendency to act first and think later. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Is known as a class clown and takes board games very seriously. Yes, 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 yes. That's all me. <laughs> Now, of course, because this is like my house, right? So I had to like pick perfumes that I really like, but also I feel perfumes that are brave, smells like um, uh, a little like daring and like demanding a lot of attention. Let me start like with the very obvious one. That would be your Khamra from the Tafa. This is a proper Gryffindor house scent. It's boozy, cinnamony, apple, like literally think of the Gryffindor common room, think Christmas time, you know, think of all of them like having a good time and chit-chatting by the fireplace on the, on their, on their uh, beautiful couch, you know, with the red carpet, the maroon, everything, you know, opulent and everything, but like a lot of love, a lot of like happiness and friendships building over there. Khamra, boozy, apple, cinnamon. This is supposed to be a dupe for um, Angel's, uh, sorry, Killian's Angel's share. But uh, this went in a different tangent and I feel like this is not entirely duping it. 
So this is a perfume on its own, so it's not redundant if you have both of them. The next one, of course, I had to have a fun perfume and that's your, my citrus favorite, which is the Kasamat range from Rasasi and that's your Rasana. This is like literally one of the best fragrances to wear during summer, daytime. It will make everybody around you attracted to you because you are like, like, I don't know, that has this quality to it, but which is like very attractive but at the same time it's very approachable like you'll get attracted and you'll approach the person you're not going to be like oh, let me think about it you know no uh, it will not scare you away. it is definitely like a friendly perfume it's beautiful it is sweet citrus it has this tanginess like it smells like fun it smells like a fun day out with friends like packed into a bottle so i felt like this would definitely fall into the gryffindor house the next one is my favorite from the Al Haramain Junoon line and that's the Junoon Oud. Now don't be frightened, this is not really an Oud perfume. There is Oud but it's, they're like a presence of like wood but not Oud Oud. This again is your spicy, citrus, woody fragrance which is like, it screams brave. Like you know, like you smell this and you feel whoever wear this, wears this is like a very brave, outgoing and courageous person. Like I added this to Gryffindor, like I was kind of borderlining this to Slytherin but like this has this happy quality to it which Slytherin does not. Slytherin, all of them are very noir kind of perfumes, you know. So yeah, this one, also a citrus with a twist because it is spicy, it is woody and it makes you feel amazing, it gives you confidence. This is like your liquid luck in a bottle. The next one is a little gamble I took but I felt like this belongs in the Gryffindor house. This is your Rare Tiffany by Afnan. This is like a weird scent. Again, it reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Like I feel like of somebody like who is, uh, who wants to smell a little feminine, but at the same time have that personality of a Gryffindorian. Like I think of Jeannie Weasley, but the books Jeannie Weasley, not the movie Jeannie Weasley, which they kind of like ruined her image, you know? But the brave Jeannie that you like, you know, uh, see in the books and uh, at the same time she has this uh, loving nature of course she's a Weasley so she has to plus her love and everything towards Harry like I feel like this like depicts that it has like a little darkness as well which makes it like a very nighttime romantic perfume this by the way the rare passion by Afnan is like quickly becoming one of my perfumes to wear recently like I douse myself in this directly on my skin and I feel like it slightly changes on every person like all perfumes do but this one i've seen like it's smelling completely different on my friends and completely different on me this is definitely to the skin perfume it but it projects a lot and this like for me even the bottle the color i mean if this was scarlet it would have been better but like the gold and your you know the same your regular tiffany design although the turquoise one the, uh, the rare tiffany was like amazing have i been calling this a tiffany rare passion sorry <laughs> so this is like the rare passion like i wish this bottle was transparent and like cherry cherry color you know like which would be like dark and transparent just like the rare tiffany it would be apt and the bottle would have looked so much better if this was just transparent and like a dark red maroon or cherry color you know definitely gryffindor and last but not the least this was like the easiest pick for me because when i thought of gryffindor this was one of the first perfumes that came in my mind and that was your Shagaf Oud, the very popular one. This is your Rose Oud. It is so freaking strong. Now Slytherin had the Amethyst, which was like your Noir, Dark Vampish. This, on the other hand, is very rosy. It definitely smells like Oud, but the rose is forward. But it has like hints of spices here and there. And it makes it like very interesting, very friendly, very uh, loving and courageous at the same time. Like, I would do anything for you. Like, you know, it's saying I would do anything for you. But people would, like, love you. They would be, like, it's, it has this magnetic quality. Like, everybody would, like, want to look at you, want to think like you, want to be you. Like, everything, you know? Sugar food is probably, like, one of the most famous uh, uh, Middle Eastern perfumes out there. Again, it's very polarizing because, of course, like, not everybody likes a combination of rose and oud. But, like, if you want, like, a more playful version of, like, Amethyst, that's like the dark Noah vampish. This is like your playful. This you can wear during daytime, nighttime, like whenever you want. I just dropped my strip. 
um, and it'll it'll fly like you know but you need like courage to wear it because of course it's a very bold perfume like bold being the uh, active word you know like it's like bold so that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i live in my own fantasy world sometimes and i wish i wish like oh someday i would like receive my uh gryffindor sorry my hogwarts letter like welcoming me like come see me there does this universe does exist somewhere you know ah uh, wishful thinking but we can always like live in our fantasy whatever makes us happy like do it i don't feel embarrassed about being a potterhead and i honestly don't care if people think i'm kiddish or whatever it was a big shock for ali when he found out i was such a huge uh potterhead but um, he saw, he kind of like got into the movies as well but he saw it once and he stopped i have seen them like over a hundred times and i'm not kidding you like every time i get time i switch it on it's because there was this very dark period i went through in my life um it was over 10 years ago but like there was this patch in my life which was a very horrible time for me and that's when i had started like watching the harry potter movies it was even more than 10 years ago actually and I don't know why like I would go into this world and I would forget about everything you know like it made me um there was this weird way I would relate to everybody's traumas and how they got over it and it just makes you feel happy towards the end because like good prevails in the end you know <laughs> and I don't know it's just a feel good movie for me like even when like it gets dark after like the uh, uh the third movie like it was still like such a so that's it for uh, today guys from your potterhead simeen <laughs> i love you all please tell me like if you guys have been sorted into any houses please tell me your house uh, please tell me your opinion which perfume that you from the arabian ones please which one you would associate with each house i want to know it'll be interesting to know your opinion as well until next time guys bye swish and flick